Good afternoon, everyone. It's Carmine from New York. It's July 23, 2022, and it's a terrible heat wave for not only New York, but uh, around the world. I hope this nonsense stops. Okay, today's episode. In today's class, um, I it's all about an email that I received. And the email asked me, uh, Carmine, the email went on to say, uh, how do you get your inspiration to photograph different things when it's not for pay, when you're not getting paid? Because obviously the person that's paying you, that's the inspiration. You have to photograph what they want. But when you're photographing whatever you want, to expand your knowledge, your artistic flair, try something new in photography, uh, and to expand your portfolio for both your prints and your online presence. The emailer asked me, what inspires you? Well, as you know, I have a lot of notes. And first we have to start off with Oxford Dictionary their definition of the word inspiration. The process of being mentally stimulated to do or feel something, especially to do something creative. How about that? So I went on and I told this person in the email, I said, well, whenever I'm at a blank, you know, like writers, block there is photography block when you just don't know you can't come up with an idea or a place or a subject to photograph you want to give yourself an assignment so i told this uh, subscriber by the way subscribe i told the subscriber i have a very um large collection of poetry books written by poets from around the world and from different centuries. My two favorites are Robert Frost and Maya Angelou. So I told the subscriber in an email, whenever I'm stuck to be inspired to go photograph something new and different, I'll grab, usually I grab, um, I have a a favorite Robert Frost poetry book full of his poems. And this morning I opened it up and I just flipped through the pages and I stopped at one of his poems called Tree at My Window. It's very famous. Many, many of you know this poem. It's not long at all. Uh, it's called Tree at My Window. So what did that do? That inspired me to think, tree at my window. Well, how about in a few seconds, I'm going to show you the photographs that I took today, today, this morning, it was before eight o'clock. I grabbed my Olympus OMDEM5 and the Olympus 100. To 400 lens and of course I added the battery grip right to give you a little bit more sub substantial grip so I took this combination out when driving around and it hit me there's a place here in New York called Richmond Town Restoration and what it is is it's a historical place, a couple of acres, where they have um, rehabilitated buildings that are 100, 200, 300 years old. And these buildings, some of them are homes, some of them are shops, have very interesting windows. So I used the inspiration I got from Robert Frost from his poem, tree at my window and I photographed only windows. 
this morning. This isn't something that has to take months and years and planning and expense flying somewhere and packing a backpack with 200 pounds of camera equipment. No, it was one lens, one camera, and a couple of batteries with the Olympus OMD EM5. But this is a, this today's episode is not about this camera. It's about any camera that you take with you. And you get your inspiration, like I did, Tree at My Window, a poem by Robert Frost. And I took his poem and I translated it to something a photographer can use for art. So let's take a look at the photographs that I took. Now I'm going to show you two versions of each photograph. The first one is the photo unretouched. The second one is the same photo that I have put through a process to make them more poetic. Now, the process I use, the software I use is down below. It's in the description. I don't sell it. I bought it. They're not a sponsor. So let's just get that out of the way. Remember what my channel is about. I have over 125 classes and I don't sell anything. There's no link to someplace where you can buy something. This is a very different photography channel. Okay. So let me just check my notes before we go to the pictures. Um, okay. So I wrote, <laughs> I made myself a note here that says, I took the photos of the windows to the next level. Okay. So you're going to see 12 photographs. The photograph, which are very nice. It's a, they're photographs of windows. And don't forget, these are historical windows in a touristy, um, historic restoration area. It's open to the public. These are not photographs of people's homes that they're living in, right? Like a peeping Tom. It's not like that. These are photographs of historical buildings open to the public. Nobody lives in there. <laughs> okay. It's uh, for tourists to see uh, how life was in New York 100, 200, 300 years ago. Okay. So let's take a look at the photographs I took this morning with this setup. It could be any setup. It could be film. It could be digital. It doesn't matter, but I'm just showing you. So you have reference, especially with the compression, because now, you know, I use the 100 to 400 Olympus lens and the OMD EM five, right? Is this the five Olympus micro four thirds beast four thirds camera. Okay. So right now we've only gone a few minutes. It's good. Make them nice and short. It's the weekend. Uh, let's take a look at the photographs now. Untouched in software. And then the second photo is the same photo as the first. Brought to the next level poetically. Let's look at the photographs right now. 